Hello and welcome on Thomas Geiger Car. Today with something really special. Because a few weeks ahead of the world premiere in Beijing, I'm test driving the latest prototypes of the new Volkswagen Touareg, the upcoming SUV flagship model of Europe's biggest car brand. If this car could really replace the Phaeton when it comes to the market in Europe this summer, that's what we're going to find out on our test drive. So please join me and I'll tell you more about it here on Thomas Geiger Car. When driving the new Touareg, it's all about comfort and relaxness. Yes, it is an SUV, but S doesn't stand for sport in this case. It more stands for status because this car will replace also the Phaeton, the flagship limousine of the company. So it's got to be the limousine within the SUVs. For that reason, Volkswagen has added the air suspension. They've added a system that conquers the side movements of the body and they've added a rear wheel steering. So even if the car weighs two tons, it feels pretty light. And even if it got bigger, 10 centimeters in length and four centimeters in width, it feels pretty small and handy when you go along the curves. So that's really an impressive achievement and giving the car that extra bit of comfort that you need if it's a flagship model. Engine-wise, the Touareg will get the right solution for every market. Means mainly diesels in Europe, two V6 and a V8 one, and mainly petrols, for example, in China. There the car will start with a V6 of three liters and an inline four cylinder with two liters of displacement, which makes it good for your taxation. And China will be the first market where the Touareg will also be available with a plug-in hybrid. Four-cylinder engine, 50 kilometers of range. That's at least what the engineers told me and they plan to bring it on the market in 2019. Even if Volkswagen claims the Touareg to be the limousine amongst the SUVs, the vehicle still is an off-roader. So once you go beyond the paved road, you still get very, very far and the car's capabilities are much bigger than the ones of most of the drivers. And it's still a very versatile car. So the trunk has increased about more than 100 liters and towing capacity is still at 3.5 tons. So luxury on the one hand, versatility on the other hand, a perfect combination for a flagship model of a brand like Volkswagen. Sadly, I'm not allowed to show you much of the interior, but I was allowed to take off the covers without the camera. And what I've seen there is really impressive because it's not only a digital instrument. No, almost everything from here to here is one big touchscreen. You can easily configure it on your own and you can really enjoy a digital view never seen before in the Volkswagen Group. Yes, Porsche Cayenne and Audi Q7 somehow set the benchmark with their HMI system, but Volkswagen is pretty much keeping up and I can't wait to show you the details just in a few weeks. It was only a sneak peek that I was allowed to take into the new Volkswagen Touareg, but it was enough to raise my curiosity because the car looks better from the inside than ever before. The cockpit is just amazing. Material quality is on the highest level. It's more versatile and especially it drives more relaxed than you could ever imagine. So for me, it's a real good competitor against BMW and Mercedes, and it fits perfectly in line with the sporty brother Porsche Cayenne and the luxurious big roomy brother Audi Q7. So I can't wait until they tear off the camouflage and I can really drive the car. And you should be curious when it comes to your market. Thank you, tschüss and bye bye.